how about giving the building a hat we are not just cutting down the heat but are bringing in quality and the quantity of light that that space requires as a little girl i remember spending a lot of my summer holidays at my great grandmother's house in hyderabad so she had this large haveli with this central courtyard and one of those rooms used to be my rooms but because i was going there in the summer and of course there wasn't any air conditioning she used to pour water on the floor of my room and as the water would evaporate similar to what happens when we perspire that the evaporating perspiration takes the heat away from the human skin and similarly my room would become remarkably cooler when i became an architect i decided that i have to apply my great grandmother's principle in design these figures are so self explanatory about what we should use for producing thermal comfort isn't it so the first example that i gave which was about thermal mass which is using brick versus water so with brick if you are able to do thermal mass for a certain amount of resource imagine the exponential level of efficiency that one will achieve by using water 